everybody doing today? I'm Dylan. I'm John. And John's got a new mug to show you guys this week. Shout out this week to Hardenberg uh, Insurance Brokerage. Appreciate the love. Thanks so much for the mug. Fancy looking mug. Fancy. It's heavy, actually. Mm-hmm. I don't know what they made it out of, but it's pretty thick. So anyway, it's thanks. Good, though. All right. Well, I want to say thank you all for joining us. Uh, today, we're going to go over another uh, different topic. This one is summer vacation is officially over, and we'll jump right into it. So question number one. So sad. I know. <laughs> the warm weather's got a sad away. topic. Stick with us. I'm sorry. Yes. But the thing is, people like getting back into the nice June weather and you know, it's you know, funny. fall weather before it gets real bad. Here in Philly, it's it was this week we had a couple of kind of cool mornings and, and people were very excited and, and Starbucks released the pumpkin spice latte already yesterday. They, is that too early? It's that so early. early. I don't know. I think it's too early. But anyway, yeah, you're right. People do like to get back into the swing of some things. All right. So question number one. Yeah. How does someone avoid the back to work blues? <laughs> Uh, uh, don't go on vacation. Then you never have to come back to work. Uh, I, certainly, I, I would say part of it is planning, mm-hmm. right? Like, um, in my experience, there's a lot of people who go on vacation and, like, it's a blitz. You, you know, like the Friday before they're leaving, it's chaos. You know, they just can't wait to get out. They rush, 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 and. Uh, when they come back, that mess, that blitz that they left all over their desks, uh, his desk is still there, mm-hmm. right? So, um, and you think about that. I know people who who definitely think about that while they're on vacation, especially the the day or two prior to the end. You know, it's it's oh man, I have I have to do this, I have to do that, I, you know, and the fretting starts. Mm-hmm. And so you really don't get a full vacation because you waste time fretting. Um, well, and I would also say some of it is mindset oriented, right? So, so you guess like avoiding the back to work blues. I think if you look at work as the enemy, right, and, and mm-hmm. we see this sometimes with people who like live for the weekend. Um, if if the week is the enemy because of work, you know, or you know, work ultimately is the enemy, then you're never going to be really excited to go back. Yeah, you know what I mean. It it doesn't. It, it, there's nothing that we're going to do in terms of being able to plan for it that's going to change sort of your internal monologue, that, that attitude that has to change. If you hate your job, then it is still going to be something you hate when you come back. It's yeah, not so even if you don't back. even go on vacation, if you just leave on a Friday and Sunday you come rolls back, around. Right, and you, yeah. right. Right. I mean, and, and, and you know, I know there's, there's people watching who on, you know, they know on Mondays there's a high incidence of, call outs Mm -hmm. because people extend the weekend. I can't bring myself to go back in there. How many PTO days do I have? And it really, you know, you really have to contend with how you think about work. Um, And so if work is the enemy, you're always going to have a problem. So if, if you have back to work blues, look at the job you have. Maybe it does suck. Maybe, Maybe you, you shouldn't be there anymore. Uh, you know, I'm not advocating for everybody to quit, but you know, you you going away on vacation is not necessarily going to make it any better when you get back. True. Sure. Right. So you have to be thoughtful about how you really categorize and quantify work. If it's terrible, okay, it's terrible. Um, but if if it's challenging, right? If it's stretching, it doesn't mean that it's easy, and it doesn't mean that it isn't frustrating at times. But overall. You know, you can appreciate what it's teaching you. Then, then okay, embrace that. And so maybe vacation is an opportunity for you to rest and recharge mm-hmm. in preparation to come back. And that's that's okay. That's a good thing. So I think that that kind of helps the mindset of the blues that you asked me about. And even like myself, if I ever take like a vacation when I go away on snowboarding trips in the winter, yeah, I also look at the time, like you said, just recharge like enjoy time away from work and then reset my mind for when i come back yeah and there's nothing wrong with having a weekend away i'm mm-hmm. certainly not saying you know we don't need a break um but a break from work may not necessarily make work better yeah. you really have to think through that mm-hmm. all right awesome all right going into question number two how does someone get their groove back after summer vacation <laughs> 
Uh, how does Stella get her groove back? So, did uh, you say Stella? Uh, yeah. No, I said how does someone? Get I know. Oh. Uh, yeah, you don't. You're too young. You All don't right. remember that movie. You hear this guy, right? So, those of you who are of a certain age remember how Stella got her groove back. Oh yeah. You have to watch that. That's a work assignment for you this week. Right. Watch it. Um, uh, I'd say a few things. First of all, um, I started to mention you know, have a plan. Mm -hmm. So before you leave, really kind of focus a little bit on time to plan for um, what it will be like the day or two you get back. Um, if you don't set up a plan to, to jump into, when you come in on that Monday morning, and I'm picking on a Monday, right? You go away on vacation, you come back on a Monday morning. If you're um, not set up for success, it's going to be a little slow going for you to sort of get into the rhythm again. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in fact, you might even start to dread it a bit because you're like, I don't know what to do first. I have 3,000 emails. I've got right all this stuff, all these voicemails. Um, have a little bit of a plan. I'm not saying to plan the whole week, but know what projects you want to jump back into. Let people know, obviously, that you're going away and what the expectation will be when you get back. The other piece of it is use your team. You know, if there's things that you can hand off to someone, then do it. You know, don't be so worried that, well, if I give this to somebody else, then you know, they may do it better, you know, I'm insecure about the work that I do, and therefore I need to maintain my position, I'll just keep everything. Uh, you're just making it more difficult for yourself, you know, leverage those resources you, you have at your disposal. Um, I'd say too, which may sound kind of funny, but and, and there's some psychology behind this as well. A lot of times when I go away, when I come back, I try to bring something back. Um, it, sometimes it's a thing, you know, a souvenir or something mm -hmm. like that, that reminds me of the, the trip, the time. Um, every time I look at it, it might bring to mind how I was feeling, um, that I was relaxed, that I was rejuvenated. Um, sometimes those little reminders are really important. Uh, you can't always bring a souvenir back. And, and you know, for, for some folks, you may not have the space, right, to bring yeah. back everything you want to. But but try to be smart about what it is you can bring back. Um, you, you know, and, and I may have mentioned this before, but, you know, I'm a, I'm a journaler. I write a lot, right? So uh, sometimes I'll go back and reread something that I've written while I was away on vacation. And it takes me right back there. I don't need to have something up on my desk necessarily. Um, but I can review that and it takes me back to that place. And so that when I'm done reading that for me, close that, turn back to my work. I've taken just a few minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, I took some good, you know, breaths during that time. That's a good thing to be able to. It's not magic. I mean, I'm not, it's not like there's some 12 step program to get back you yeah. know, into the groove from vacation, but you have to put some things into place that, um, bring you back to why you went on vacation to begin with, um, especially if you go away with others. You, you know, you've made some relational memories. I know some people vacation on their own, which I think is awesome as well. And so you might have more scenic memories. Um, you know, I've, I know folks that go away and, and do something pretty intense um, on their own, whether it be a hike or, or, you know, some kind of rapids trip or whatever. But, but a lot of times we go away with people. Yeah. So think about those relational times and take what you experience there and, and apply it at work. Right? You can build the same kind of relationships. You can have the same kind of relaxed conversation. Not everything is on fire. Right? And so if you work in a frenzied environment, help to set a good tone. Um, I think those things will help there be a lasting effect as well from the vacation. Um, again, I, I mentioned before, we have enough people that live for the weekend. Yeah. They come in Monday and they're just, uh, can't wait till Friday. It's just not a great way to live at work. It, it really isn't. Um, and, and I'm not saying you can't enjoy your weekends. I'm saying you shouldn't hate the weeks in order to get to the yeah. weekend. It's the same thing when you come back from vacation. You can't love vacation so much and by default hate work as a result. Um, so again, I'd say uh, having a distinct plan, um, some objectives you want to meet when you get back, 
handing off some things to other people, giving yourself some reminders about what the week or vacation time was like that can pull you back to that moment. I think some of those things are, are helpful. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and, and know that it's going to take a minute. When you come back from vacation, you, you know, it may take you a minute. You might not be able to just snap right back into it. Breathe through it. You'll, you'll come back up to speed in no time. I think you made a good point about instead of, you know, having to go through the blitz, leaving everything on your desk and then coming back and dealing with it, plan ahead so that you know what you're going to do when you get back. So also while you're on vacation, you can enjoy that time instead of stressing about, yep. like you said, those last one, two days you start stressing because you got to get back to work. And I'll tell you, so, so real example, and I know we're finishing up. And um, when I was on vacation this summer, I was gone for a week uh, to the Outer Banks. And when I got back from vacation, we were gone for a week. Uh, for those of you familiar with Outlook, there's a focus box, other junk. Just in the focus box alone, mm-hmm. there were over 1,100 emails for me. And that you received while you were going? Yeah. Wow. Um, and popular. I had my away from, I don't know if it's popular, um, but, but certainly was a lot of communication. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a lot, right? If somebody sits down on a Monday morning and opens up their email and it's like 1,100. It's, it's it can be overwhelming, and it and what I what I've done in the past, which I don't advocate, um, and I hear other people still do is, you know, they take the last few days of vacation. Let me let me clean out some of my email because mm. I don't want to be overwhelmed when I get back. But then you minimize your vacation. I think you should protect the sanctity of that time that you're off. And look, eleven hundred emails, they'll get answered. You'll work through them. You're not going to do all eleven hundred on Monday when you get back. It's just not realistic. Um, but have a plan of, and that's why even the scheduling, when you get back, you know you're going to have a bunch of emails. Schedule in an, an extra hour or two to just work through some of that stuff so that you can get it off your plate. Awesome. Good point there. All right. That about wraps it up for today. Uh, we appreciate everyone coming in to listen to what we had to say about summer vacation and how it's over. Sad, but <laughs> we're looking forward to that fall weather. Thank you again for joining us. This video will be up on all our social media platforms, so we'll see you soon. Bye.